The coroner's inquest probing the untimely death of 27-year-old musician Eleriolu Olatimeja Loba Mubad reconvened at the Candid Johnson Courthouse in Ikurudu, Lagos on October 25, 2023. The singer's death on September 12 has sparked controversy, prompting the Lagos State Government to launch the inquiry. Correspondent Okwayemi Woshini gives details. Shortly after the announcement of appearances by all lawyers and parties in the case, Magistrate Adida Yoshotobi, who is presiding over the coroner's inquest, called upon witnesses to present their testimony. Joseph Aloba, the deceased father, took the witness stand to swear an oath and share his account of events. He was subsequently questioned by the attending lawyers. Also called to testify is the late singer this jockey, Ayobami Adishegiri, who says he was with the singer on the day he died. According to Adishegiri, Bobad collapsed and began vomiting after the nurse administered an injection. The deceased mother, during her testimony, disclosed that Mobad had on multiple occasions warned her against speaking out against Naira Mali's former record label boss, fearing retribution from the artists. Festus Ogun, the attorney representing the deceased family, expressed his belief that the witness testimonies would ask the coroner in understanding the circumstances surrounding Mubad's death. The witnesses would clearly, as you know, on their part clearly uh, narrated to the coroner what they knew about the circumstances surrounding the death of Mubad, which will obviously and invariably help the coroner to come to a conclusion and aid the coroner in its findings of knowing truly what exactly is the cause of the death and the circumstances surrounding the death of the corona? Salem Anya Lewechi, a representative of the NBA in Kurudu branch, reveals that the court had gathered facts not present in the initial police report during the last briefing. We've been able to get the testimonies of the father of the deceased. We're able to get the testimonies of the mother of the deceased. And we also got the testimony of the personal DJ of the deceased person. And uh, we believe that the court has been able to uh, gather some facts that uh, we are that we are actually, uh, will I say, absent from the report of the police during the last adjourned date. David Nowola, the lead counsel for TNKY, who stands as a representative for the entertainment industry, noted that the case is progressing as the pieces of the puzzles come together to reveal the circumstances behind Mubad's death. We, are, we have gotten to the stage where this is where we are trying to um, put the puzzles together and get leads in pursuit of um, the quest um, towards the responsibility of the Corona um, Tribunal. And witnesses are in court today. We had a lot of witnesses in court today, although the court was able to just take three witnesses because of the time constraints. But, um, Witnesses are given an account and they were deeply examined and cross-examined and um, new facts were elicited in court today and in that way, that way it's, it's a progress and we hope that going forward we still elicit more facts and put the puzzles together to towards the quest of finding the actual cause of the death of the diseased Mobad. The coroner commiserated with the Alobas on their son's death, promising justice will be served in the case and adjourned the hearing to November 7th. Okpayemi Owoshini, TV360 News, Lagos.